<laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, what about? See you later. What's up, kids? It's a Saturday. The stuff is flopping around a little bit out here. <laughs> Alrighty, we're doing some more house wrap today. Um, and get this all tightened up, as well as get this tightened up. Let's get it. I'm really fucking with all the energy. Holly pursue, but I don't let it get to me. They say the start of us might be the end of me. One of the important steps here is to caulk the top of the wrap. Uh, the whole thing is supposed to be like a water vapor-ish barrier. Um, people say a million different names for it. Uh, so the top needs to be caulked to seal off the gap. Now water should never get in there because the soffit will hit on the side and basically cover it up so the water the only way to get it under there is if it like drips around the roof or if it comes up from the wind. Um, so it's almost pointless to do it, but I'm gonna do it because people say to do it and I have caulked for it. So, and it'll take me not too long. So I'm gonna do that and move on with my life. Hello. I started taping the seams. Now oh, it's pretty easy. Take the tape and you put it over the seams. And that's about it. Yeehaw. Wonder. Wonder, come back, wonder. Come back. Good buddy. Cheese. <laughs> See ya. Bye. 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 Just a quick note here. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Go check out Syat Goods, my supplement and goods company. We do cool shirts, hats, uh, protein, coffee, coffee mugs, stuff like that. So go check it out. Buy something. And I'll see y'all in the video. My goal was to drink hot coffee this morning. So I'm drinking it before he gets up. Yummy. Wah. Hey. It's Monday. That's a little bit too much for me in the morning. I gotta really, gotta really wake up to uh, talk to the camera. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to July. It's like July, second week of July. Um, the goal is to get most of this done by the start of August. So that means we have three weeks. And as you can see, there's no windows in. There's no sheetrock. The uh, siding isn't on. The roofing isn't done. I need to finish taping my stuff here <laughs> anyways it's morning glad you're here uh let's get into it hello welcome back your grass is growing
So with that, we got the top caulked. We got all the stuff taped up. Um, there's only one little spot over here by the garage that would need to be done. Uh, I don't need to go that way. <laughs> so that's exciting. Uh, not too bad. The wrapping wasn't too bad. There are a few spots that are not the greatest. There's wrinkles that are probably too big. Um, there is one place I overlap here. See how I, there's a seam, there's a tape going down this. Um, so there's a seam there so that the water didn't just like get stuck in there, um, which I think is not too bad. But there's some other places where the wrinkles are just kind of big. I guess, let me know in the comments if it's gonna ruin the house. All right, onward to the fascia board and the roofing. Big goal this week is to get the roofing done, which means I gotta get the fascia board on there, I gotta get the drip edge on there, and then I gotta get the shingles. Ow. Okay, I think my plan for this is to screw in um, on each end and then come back with the nailer um, and get it in there. First one in. So this little guy is pretty clutch. I just made a little holder for it and screwed it in so I can screw down the other end and then come back, unscrew this, and then screw in this end. And then, like I said, I'm gonna nail it um, when I'm done putting them up. But that was a pretty good idea. Look, I'm super smart, yeah. Those three just took me about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, like I said, still need an element, uh, but I think it's looking good. The other side of the house, start doing those. Hello there, it's literally Insanely hot out here. I think it's supposed to be 107 or something in a couple hours, but it's already heating up. Oh man, I'm sweating like a mother. Well, I'm not sweating that bad right now, but it's only been out for like 30 minutes. Um, I had a call for a, a job, you know, after I do this, I gotta go and make some money. Cause we don't plan on selling this house for another year. So yeah, if you're interested, I do software development. Um, let me know if you have any questions about that. I'd be happy to chat. Um, but anyways, we have uh, the fascia board on. Look at that. See that beauty? Look at that. Gotta cut this edge off right there. That's looking crispy. I'm gonna um, go in and eat because I'm hungry again. Drink some water, not Bud Light. And then uh, I'm actually not too sure. I think I might do some different work on the computer, inside work cool work like cool cool crisp uh, and then maybe run the Home Depot and then work later in the evening when it's cooled down some um, to get that flashing on the roof the drip edge uh, so I can get that all sorted up for the um, sheetrock what do you want? hello <laughs> oh that's a good wonder it's a good wonder. It's a Tuesday morning and it's another day. I had an insulation bill yesterday for the walls and um, the guy had an 18 wheeler back here. It came from Home Depot, but which never really comes on 18 wheelers. Um, but he brought it and then his gate wouldn't work so he couldn't get it down for some reason and so he just handed me the package and then i carried them into there he did give me the wheel i think to weld around which is nice but then he left look at that he left the stinking pallet that it was on in the ditch instead of just leaving it in his 18 wheeler and then dealing with it it's ridiculous 
uh, he was super nice, um, but he didn't help me very much. Anyways, it's kind of beside the point. No need to complain about that. Uh, so yeah, we have some stuff to do today. I'm excited. Um, thanks for watching, and let's just get it, you know. Let's get it. I'm on the run. I've got no alibi for what I've done. Took what you treasure. All right, the page board is nailed in, which is exciting. Now I get to trim the uh, roof over, roof under stuff. Wow. Um, and do the drip edge. So let's kill it. Yeah, I'm gonna take it, take it. I've been hunting for it. I've been planning for it. I'm the villain. Yeah, I'm gonna take it, take it. Alrighty, I have a special surprise for y'all. Bum, bum, bum. This has to do with the roof flashing. It's very exciting because I might get a lot of hate for this. <laughs> Whoa, almost just broke my camera. Um, I'll show y'all that in five seconds. Gotta get this off first. What I did, but first I need to use some flash mate to make sure everything is Gucci. Here's the surprise. Look at this. Look at this flashing. That's supposed to go there. All right, my look bad. Not completely done, um, and it'll be covered up, but I had a huge problem with this and not knowing what to do with it, but this is what I came up with. So we have the roof integrated here, coming in to this flashing here, which is downsloped this way, and then it's downsloped that way, like that. Um, so this is L flashing, and it goes down under, here, nailed in a couple times here, and then I bended it over this way. Um, so I'll take the look at flush and flush all this inside here, here, and here, so the water will flow this way. That's the idea, anyways. And then it will come down and then go down that way. Flashing here is the same L flashing, um, so the water will come down, it'll hit this wall here. Um, I'll do the look flashing here through here. Um, so the water will come, hit, and go down that way. I did check with the level to make sure the water is going in the correct spots, so it should be good. Uh, this is like, I didn't know what else to do, so yeah, judge it how you may. Hopefully I have no water leaks. If I do, then I'll have to figure out something else. Hey, surprise, it's me, a few months later from when this video was taken. And I have to say, oh wait, don't want y'all to see all the stuff. Um, I have to say that we did have a leak. We've had two huge storms the past um two weeks and we had a leak in the uh the joint right here well i know it's kind of hard to see but this is the intersection of what i was just showing y'all and there was water pouring it out as you can see in this video here and so i just took some more caulk and filled in the spaces that were missed none of the sheetrock or anything was ruined but the wood here got wet so it needs to dry out which it does because of the garage not having ac and stuff like that so it's all good there but yeah that's the update let's get back into the video i'm excited because this is the last portion of the roof um, and then i can shingle all of it so yeah let's get it Alrighty, there you have it. It's like 8.30 now, works a little bit later because I was just been hot during the day, too hot, honestly. Way too hot. Um, but I got the flashing all done on the roof, which is exciting. That means I can hit the ground running tomorrow on the shingles and get up at like six and uh, just try to get it done, you know. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe, appreciate y'all for watching. And whoever wants that dog, come and steal it. Alrighty, see y'all later.